Welcome to the quick start video for the Olympus Link mobile app. In this video, we will show how to set up the 38DL Plus for Bluetooth communication and how to use the beta version of the Bluetooth Olympus Link mobile app. It is important to note that some features shown in this video may not be available depending on the version of software that is installed. To start, you'll need to insert the Olympus Link-BT Bluetooth dongle into the USB port under the side door of the 38 link wireless adapter. This dongle is engraved with the words to link to notify the user that this dongle needs to be inserted into the 38 link. Then connect the RS-232 cable to the top of the 38 DL plus. Next, turn on the 38 DL plus. We can now configure the RS-232 communication settings on the 38 DL plus thickness gauge. Press the setup menu key, then press the down arrow until COM is highlighted, then press the enter key. Next, press the down arrow until connection type is highlighted, then press the right arrow to change it to RS-232, then press the down arrow to highlight RS-232 device, and then press the right arrow to change it to terminal, then press the down arrow to highlight baud rate, and then press the right arrow to change it to 115-200. Next, press the red measure key to return to the measurement screen. We can now turn on the 38 link wireless adapter by pressing the power button. The LED will glow red as the adapter powers on. Once the 38 link boots up, the LED will glow green and the message shown should appear. Once the 38 link is powered on and the display is illuminated, we can then launch the iOS mobile app from our mobile device. When the app opens, the first screen shows the available Bluetooth devices we can connect to. To update the screen, we can tap the refresh icon. From this screen, we also have the option to view existing files within the app by choosing the folder icon. Currently, there are no files stored on the app. If there were, we could sort these files alphabetically or chronologically. From this screen, we can share or delete existing files without being connected to a 38 link wireless adapter. Since we are not connected to a device, the receive file export icon in the middle at the bottom of the screen is grayed out. We will cover this feature later in the video. If we tap back, we can choose the device we want to connect to by selecting the name of the device. We are then taken to a screen where we can choose which aspect of the app we want to use. We can choose either receive single send, file transfer, or remote commands. We will first explore the receive single send feature. This feature is used to receive a live thickness reading sent from the 38DL Plus. On the 38DL Plus, we can choose how to configure the save slash send key. This can be done by pressing the setup menu key, and then the up arrow to highlight system, and then the right arrow to highlight beeper and then the down arrow to highlight save slash send key. Then we can press the enter key. Depending on what version of firmware is running on the 38 DL plus, the available choices would be save, send, or send plus save. If send plus save is not available, the firmware on the 38 DL plus would need to be updated. We will press the right arrow to change this setting to send plus save. Then we can press the red measure key. Now, when we press the save slash send key, the gauge will send the thickness reading to the mobile app, as well as save the reading to the gauge's internal data logger. We can then share the sent readings either as a CSV file by tapping the share CSV icon, or we can share the sent readings as a text file by tapping the share text icon. To clear the terminal, we can tap clear in the top right corner of the app. Also built into the receive single send feature is the ability to remotely request the live thickness reading from the 38 DL plus. This remote command is initiated from the app by tapping the receive reading icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. These readings can also be shared either as a CSV file or as a text file. We can then tap back to explore other aspects of the mobile app. If we choose file transfer, we will see the screen that includes saved files. Notice that there is now a data.csv file listed. This is a default file that was created when we chose share CSV 
from the Receive Single Send screen previously shown. This file is overwritten with new readings whenever new readings are sent in the Receive Single Send screen and Share CSV is chosen. Since we are in a connected state, we now have the ability to tap the Receive File Export icon in the middle at the bottom of the screen. When the app is in this mode, we can export a file from the 38DL Plus and send it to the app in a variety of formats. On the 38DL Plus, we can press the file key and then the down arrow until export is highlighted. We can then press the enter key. From here, we can press the down arrow to highlight the file we want to export. Once highlighted, we can press the enter key. If export to is not shown, then the firmware on the 38DL Plus would need to be updated. For export to, we will press the right arrow to choose wireless and then press the enter key. We can then choose the format we want to export the file in. We can choose either FTP, which is the file format used in GageView Thickness and many other third-party programs to create and transfer files to the 38DL Plus. Or we can choose Excel CSV, which will export the file as a linear table, or we can choose Excel Grid CSV, which will export the file as a grid as long as it is built as a grid file. We will leave the format set to Excel Grid CSV and then press the Enter key. With export highlighted, press the Enter key, and the file will be wirelessly transferred to the mobile app. The app shows it is receiving the file, and once finished, it shows completed, along with the file name. If we wanted to export another file, we would keep the app in this mode and then export another file from the 38DL+. Once finished, we can tap Close. We can then select the file and share or delete it. We can also select multiple files and share or delete them. The next feature we will demo is importing an FTP file into the app and deploying it to a connected 38 link device. This feature will only work on mobile devices running iOS 11 or later. If we wanted to import a 38DL plus FTP file from an email, we could close the link app navigate to the email that includes the FTP file, tap the file name, and then choose Save to Files. We then have the option to add the file to the link folder. If we tap Add, and then close our email, and reopen the app, we can reconnect to the device and choose File Transfer. We then see the file listed in the app. There is also an action button next to the .ftp file. If we select the file and then tap the action button, we can confirm that we want to transfer the file to the 38DL Plus. If we tap Yes, the file will be transferred. The file transfer can take some time since it is being done over a Bluetooth connection. Once the file transfers, we can press the file key on the 38DL Plus to see that the file was transferred over. We could then save readings to this file and then export it back to the app using the file export method shown earlier in this video. We can then tap close and then tap back and then choose Remote Commands to explore the last feature of the Olympus Link mobile app. From this screen, if we tap in the field next to Send, a list of preset multi-character remote commands appears. These commands allow us to request certain information about the gauge we are connected to. If we scroll to Bat Level and then press Send, the app will respond with the current battery level of the connected 38DL+. If we scroll down to Velocity and then press Send, the app will respond with the current sound velocity set on the connected 38DL+. In addition to the preset multi-character commands, we can also scroll down and choose Manual. This allows us to manually enter in remote commands. This should typically only be done by users with knowledge of the 38DL Plus remote commands and protocols. If we then want to share this information, 
we can choose Share TXT to share this information in a text format. To disconnect or choose a different 38 link to connect to, tap back in the top left corner and then back again to get to the connection screen of the app. Thank you for watching this quick start video for the Olympus Link mobile app. For more information, please contact your local representative or visit us online at www.olympus-ims.com.